with you. He says, stop it, where he's like, oh, even the vegetables don't like it. It, yeah, it, yeah, it kills yeah, that, me yeah, every that. time. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I, a really good one. I, I like the, the, the scene where, where he goes like, um, um, it's, it's, it's a bit cold, you know. How does one celebrate Christmas on the on, on the uh, unemployment line? They go heat wave. You're my sunshine, my lovely sunshine. I absolutely love it. Oh, um, we're recording here for twenty eight seconds. <laughs> anyway, hello there. This thing just keeps keeps going. I think we're supposed to do our work. We were just talking about um, Muppets, Christmas. Muppets Christmas movie, a Christmas Carol, and that we both really like that movie. This you're watching your video for December, and we were just talking how bloody awesome this is. And um, and so we will both watch it, if that makes sense. <coughs> Sorry that you were not watching for if you were watching for the worst twenty eight texts, you would probably be like, What the heck is this? Right? So it's not live television. Um but I'm not editing it out. This will stay in the whole world twenty eight seconds because that thing just keeps keeps itself um you know, yeah. it's how the universe goes, like, come on then. It's like, right? Yeah, you two are just talking way too much. <laughs> in any case, Capricorns, very welcome <laughs> to your December twenty two general reading with myself, Thomas Yellow, and my guest this month is Kai Marshall. I will leave the contact details um, in the description box, so please, please, please get in touch. <coughs> and now we're looking at, um, or we're dividing the video slightly in, in areas or sections, so it's easier to understand. We will look at your overall energy for the months ahead, before we then look into your emotional core. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities. Opportunities, for the most part, will likely be about what sustains you financially. And I always say likely, because money is not a spiritual currency. So you don't always go there, if that makes sense. Um, with no further ado, Capricorns, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, here, <laughs> finally, is your overall energy. <laughs> right, guys. So, um, first card of port was have confidence. So it's, I'm very much getting, it's, you're um, lacking a little bit of self-esteem, if I'm honest, guys. Um, I feel like there's a bit of, I don't want to say necessarily childhood trauma, but there's a bit it of might, yeah. There's a bit of trauma that just is very, very prominent here, and it's kind of like holding you back a little bit, and it's very much come to the surface and round this time of year. I don't know whether it's maybe like family related. I'm not sure, but I'm very much getting that it's this is a difficult time of year for you, and it's this card is just a reminder of just to say you, you're bloody brilliant, you're absolutely fantastic, and you just need to have a little bit more confidence and faith in yourself. Um, and it's the next card I pulled was acceptance. So I very much, yeah, feel like it was a bit of trauma that's kind of like harboring around here. And it's not so much, um, I don't want to say the blame game, but you're very much kind of like pointing fingers at the moment. And this card's just a reminder to say, like, it's time for you to, for you to heal, if I'm honest. Mm. And it, you need to kind of like not necessarily accept like what happened as in like oh condone it like oh gosh that it was okay it's one of them but it's not it's just kind of like accept it and that was a part of your journey and it's made you who you are and kind of like look at the positives out of it like if that didn't happen i wouldn't be the strong person that i am today and it's just basically saying just accept what's happened in your life it's made you who you are and you're a lot stronger than you think <clears throat> And yeah, so I, f I feel like I'm on the right track. The last card was <laughs> let your pass go. So it's very yeah. much, I feel like this is quite a difficult time of year for you guys. And it's it's bringing up a lot of old emotions, a lot of old uh, trauma. As I said, I keep coming back to that word. It, I feel like there's something that's p potentially happened to you maybe around this time of year. And it just, it becomes very raw for you. But what I'm getting here is, you know, it's, it's, you're a lot stronger than you think is what I'm trying to say, if I'm honest, I can get my words out then. Um, you know, there's there's people around you that are willing to help you, you just need to open up, but you're not gonna get out of this kind of like negative cycle. I feel like it very much comes around this time of year. You're not gonna get out of this circle that you're in until you start leaning on the people that are around you and stop believing in yourself and having a bit of like more self-love, if I'm honest. Um, Sorry, that was a very kind of like dampener for the start of the reading, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also, it's not meant that way because <clears throat> we're going now in your emotional core. And in your emotional core, you literally have what is called the mystic healer. So what they're saying to you, healing energy already flows through you. So that makes perfect sense because you let go of the past, which means once you let go, letting go is, is, a, is, a, is a process and it oftentimes is a painful one. 
that makes sense but you're already in the energy of healing you just have to allow it to happen because you have as the outgoing energy what is known as watching cloud clouds which just basically means lie back relax and let things go the issue that you're having as the sign of capricorn is that capricorn has been sounds weird wrongly labeled so capricorn is the sign of the mountain goat when capricorn was named it was named after sea goats which means there is a confusion within your imprint as to who you truly are now when you then go away from western medicine and you go to to vedic eastern medicine you're not um, associated at all with either a sea goat or a mountain goat you are actually associated with an alligator and a lot of people say like oh yeah they're the crocodile no a crocodile and alligator are completely different animals so the point is that sometimes you don't quite know where am i where should i go here or who am i and while this is an imprint or or a truth that you may be struggling with short answer is you're bloody awesome right rather than thinking about i don't know why things are not working where am i going here am i in the right job am i with the right people these are all valid questions the point is that this little little bit of not having a home if that makes sense um is quite a common feeling for capricorns um but you have a lot of healing going on here and all the guys are saying is if you learn to let go because you're not carrying old stuff and i'm also getting that this is sort of family related I here family right well. so if you let the old family stuff go for one of a better word you then have a void and the, the trick is not to fill the void with the same crap right you have a void it feels a bit vulnerable because there's nothing in that void and then you go and fill it with better with better memories so maybe it's about time you understand you know i'm changing here a little bit i feel i can't relate to you anymore it's about finding you a new tribe finding your tribe and because you have the mystic healer as your main energy with regards to your emotions <coughs> you are being given healing you don't have to do any shadow work it'll just come to you the point is while this is the months where a lot of things are about family are about you know let's sit together and pretend we're happy if that makes sense and i'm not saying all families are like this but the energy that i'm getting is that there's still still a lot of okay so now we have to go and see mom i'm getting all these scenarios yeah. um that come up every year where you kind of go like oh did you go see her this month oh, i haven't yet you know that kind of stuff um and this is not meant to knock anyone I'm just saying to you what comes up here as energy and the whole point is that at times it's like you have to do certain things or you think you have to do certain things to sort of keep up the status quo and you're letting go energy here is about no you don't you just have to say this isn't me anymore and I have no part of it and then you can start anew if that makes sense but the energy here is about um allowing yourself to not hold on to things right so that's your emotional core um i hope it sort of resonates mm -hmm. it, it feels to me it is it is meant positively but it sounds a bit morbid <laughs> yes <laughs> i don't want it to be yeah. that way yeah i think what they really want you to do a couple of cons is to just understand that when you follow certain patterns for years on end they become ingrained in you and mm -hmm. if you wouldn't advise your best friend to live that life then maybe you shouldn't live it so there is something yes. about self help where you have to self empower if that makes sense and that seems to be the important part here in any case to wrap this up nicely <laughs> we're now looking at opportunities as the presenters list to you in the months of december 2022 for your very sign you are watching thomas's tower reading with myself thomas yanak my guest this month is kai washaw as mentioned i will leave the um uh contact information in the description box please like subscribe and share and you know what if you like my work you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas just didn't come out right, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway here are the opportunities so um as i was shuffling your marks and it just popped out so it was very much it's the only love 
and I think that kind of like wrapped everything up quite nicely. It weren't, it weren't me, like really wasn't meant to come across in a negative way, so I do apologise if it did. It weren't, that was not the intent at all. It was just very much saying like, this time of year, it was, you can, you can be quite down on yourself, you can be quite negative. And so the opportunity for you for this month is kind of like, turn it on its head and see it through other people's eyes, see it through like, okay, like maybe, like they act this way because of this and they don't mean it because of this and it's just kind of like saying like look, this is your opportunity to look for it through loving eyes if I'm honest kind of like look for it from a different perspective and just kind of like put that positive energy out there and kind of like try and lift yourself up out of that yeah. kind of like cycle that you've been in but overall it's quite positive you've got the you've got the abilities to do it it's just kind of like just lifting yourself up and like okay right maybe and, they did and because the video started itself and we sort of had a laugh about um um the the um <laughs> the christmas carol you know i don't believe in coincidence yeah. so maybe you have to realize even though he did get his his his, his balls kicked a couple of times by by by, by ghosts of the past present and future <laughs> right he turned around yeah so even bloody scrooge okay. found <laughs> kindness inside himself again and therefore was accepted by others if that makes sense so there's no coincidence the very fact that the video starts is not just because we talk for england and germany kind of yeah. stuff but but i noticed this that sometimes you know no matter what sign you are you can go into this procrastinating feeling of oh nothing really worked this year and i'm having this and this and this and it's easy to stay there and when you Watch, and I'm an old school. I'm not going to wait for anyone to show anywhere to show it up. I have a little DVD player that I sort of watch twice a year. That means that most of the time I just scream stuff. I stream stuff. <clears throat> um, but um, so the point I'm making is, you know, um, since independently of each other, uh, um, that movie works for us, right? A Christmas uh, Carol, uh, a Muppet, Christmas. Muppet, Muppet, <laughs> Muppet's Christmas Carol. Is it? <laughs> a Muppet's Christmas Carol. There you Carol. go, a Muppet's I Christmas Carol with Michael Caine. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> awesome. Oh, right? Oh, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, um, end of the year, we can be weird. Um, you probably notice this for the rest of the year too. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't make any apologies, it is what it is. But anyway, enjoy the festive season. If you celebrate Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, have a happy whatever. If that makes sense, as long as you have a good time, right? There, there, we, we, we get a few days off, right? It doesn't require anything, right? Whether or not you have a tree or not, it's it's all up to you. I have decided I'm going to get myself a tree. As a matter of fact, I already have one because I'm clumsy. So I have, a, so I literally am. So I have one of those um, fake ones. Yes. But I, it looks very I, awesome. I have a fake one. Right? So, and then, and so, so I will make this look great and then watch the cats wrecking it. <laughs> right. In any case, so we wish you a, um, a Merry Christmas and all that stuff and um, Happy New Year. See you in 2023, which by default is going to be a higher energy year. Right. So thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. And um, please subscribe. Right. Be kind. Extend it to my channel. <laughs> all right. Then. Thank you very much. See you next time. <laughs>